He's a stranger in a strange land, otherwise known as Birmingham. Let's meet Alan Moore and Jim Bakey's Skiz. Created by Moore and Bakey in 1983, Skiz can best be described as E.T. as written by Alan Bleasdale. Any similarity to Spielberg's classic was unintentional, at least according to then-editor Steve McManus. And while they share similar starting points, they go in for quite different directions. An interpreter for the Tau Seti Imperium, Skiz crash lands on Earth and is given sanctuary by 15-year-old schoolgirl Roxanne Aruk after she finds him hiding in her garden shed. Skiz is then pursued by the British government in the guise of the statistic Mr. Van Owen. Moore naturally uses the story as a mirror held up against Margaret Thatcher's Britain. Van Owen, who believes that Skiz is a scout for an alien invasion, is an archetypal, sadistic, xenophobic and unfeeling government baddie, while the setting of deprived and depressed Birmingham filled with working class characters is still unusual in British comics. Often funny and heartwarming, but at times bittersweet, the first book of Skiz ends with a dramatic confrontation between the alien's protectors, Roxy, joined by unemployed pipe fitter Cornelius Cardew and his mate Loz, and the authorities. I won't spoil it for you, but after some heart-stopping moments, it avoids E.T.'s mawkishness, and there's at least something of a happy ending. Skiz was popular enough to warrant two follow-up series. Skiz Book 2 Alien Cultures in 2000 AD Progs 767 to 775, and Skiz Book 3 in Progs 912 to 927. These were both written and drawn by Bakey without Moore's involvement. With its social commentary and lack of big SF action, Skiz was an oddity in 2000 AD at the time, but fits nicely alongside Moore's other great work for the House of Tharg, Halo Jones. While the defiant and stout-hearted Roxy is one of the forgotten strong female characters from 2080's history. Well, thanks for joining us on the 2080 ABC Earth. Let's tune in next week as we continue our alphabetical odyssey through the galaxy's greatest comic.